everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting to do something that I have literally been waiting 10 months to be able to do with you guys. For today, we're going to be creating my D&D character in Create a Sim. And I'm going to give you a couple little tidbits about her and a little bit of inside information that might not be out in the campaign yet. But I'm going to try not to like spoil anything major, hopefully. Also, if you're interested in watching the campaign, which I hope that you are, it's very fun. It's a very fun group of people. I will link the channel to the Overprepared DM, which is where you can watch the full videos of the campaign. Episode one and session zero have already come out. By the time this video comes out, episode two and an after game chat, I believe are coming out. So once you're done with this video, make sure to go check that out. Also, go ahead and subscribe over there. And if you haven't subscribed here, you could do that too. That's up to you. Let's go ahead and get into Cass. So I thought it would be fun to try to answer the quiz and create a sim as my D&D &D character, like in their mentality and see what they come up with. I know what my character looks like and we'll make adjustments at the end, but I wanna see where we can get to. So starting off with the easy question, my character is absolutely a young adult. They are an elf who is like only 21. They're, they're very young, they're very naive. Animals are, ooh, either far better than humans or stellar companions. Definitely not difficult. Let's go with stellar companions. I think we'll go with that because my character has three cats. In my free time, I like to curl up with a book, play video games, or hit the gym. I would say that curl up with a book is probably the closest. They're into fashion design, so really it would be with a sketchbook. My neighbors didn't pay their bills and their utilities got shut off. You could laugh at their predicament, offer to help, or avoid them at all costs. I think my character would help. They are capable of doing so. What are my thoughts on aliens? Ah, uh, someday we'll find them. They walk amongst us. And Klatu Barada Niktu. Um, we're gonna go with that one. And I, I have a reason, my reasoning for this is, that my character is a cleric. I have revealed nothing so far. My character is a cleric and talks to her goddess, which I feel like a goddess and aliens are not that far apart, especially in D&D. &D. We're going with that. Uh, oh. What is my favorite pastime? Either reading a book, swimming, or watching oh. sports? Let's go with swimming for this one. Oh, boom. And how often do I visit the gym? Um, I'm going to say that's not for me. No, let's go with on occasion. I don't think, I don't think my character is lifting weights, but they definitely do like other things. They're, they're, they're more like ballet, yoga, Pilates. A friend trips and falls in my home. What's my first reaction? I'll provide first aid. Did they break anything? And point and laugh. We're going to go with first aid because they're a cleric. We have cure wounds. It's kind of our job. I see plants and animals that could use some tender, loving care. What do I do? I honestly kind of think walk away and ignore everything. I don't think my character oh. has much of nature experience. So they're not the one to help. Someone ate my last slice of pizza. <laughs> I can solve this mystery. I'll treat everyone as a suspect or I'm better off without it. I think she would feel she's better off without it. And also she could just get herself a new pizza. We're gonna skip the cross stitch question. That one's not for me. When I mount a horse, I do it enthusiastically and skillfully. I try to do it with confidence, even if I'm not sure exactly how, or I do it with overwhelming fear of being bucked off. I think we're gonna go with, I do it with confidence, even if I'm not exactly sure how. Oh. And who do we have? Oh, they just Ooh. are an alien. We oh. ended up with an alien. Did I mess that up by doing that? <laughs> I wasn't planning on them being an alien. They're an athlete. Ugh. They have the charisma skill, they have the logic skill, and their starting funds are high. So let's change everything about this. I guess my character is now an alien in The Sims, and that's okay. So to start with, my character's name is Emmy Glimmerbrook. And I wish I could say that I named her after the world in The Sims, but it actually took me like four months to realize what I had done. Like we started the campaign, we had played this multiple times. I thought about this character for months prior to even starting playing. Did not put two and two together that the magical world in The Sims is called Glimmerbrook. Um, so happy accident. Let's go over and just change the more normal version, the non looking alien side of things. 
Because I don't know that you can even get regular eyes on aliens. And let's let's do we're gonna do a whole change. Because this is an Emmy. It's not Emmy, but we'll get there. This is actually super frustrating that she's an alien because you can't change the body over there either. Which is so interesting. So I do have to make this sim very slim and you know, like mildly muscular. Mildly muscular, I think is where we're at. Can I change the body over here? Yes, I can. Okay. So Emmy is actually a wood elf, hence the ears. So she is very tall, very thin. She is actually 5'10", but six foot in heels, which she does wear when adventuring. So let's do this. I do think Emmy's a bit caked up on a Tuesday, so we'll keep that. But the boobs, not so much. A little bit lacking in the front. And let's spread that here. Okay. Let's work on this face. This face is pretty cute. I do think I'm going to bring that jaw down a little bit. And the main thing for me is that Emmy has a perfectly little, like, upturned nose. Because her and her mom went and got plastic surgery to get them to match. So she has to have basically just, like, a perfect little nose. I think I'm pretty happy with where that's at. I might I might change it a little bit. It looks, it looks a little large. Let's bring that in. Like, I'm talking she had surgery to reduce it. I also think she has a lip shape that has like a fairly strong Cupid's bow. I don't know that they're the fullest, um, but I think I'm good there. And then let's get into the eye shape. We have to give a little bit of this and a little bit of that, just a little shaping. And of course the eye color, her eyes are aqua. And for everybody eyes in the room. Aqua. If I can figure out which color is the most aqua of the eyes that I have, I guess we'll go here. Those are just very blue, but to me, that's more of like that aqua color. And the eyebrows are definitely cleaned up, well-shaped. She is highly manicured. We need high cheekbones. I think this area gets sucked in a bit and a little bit more like that. I want the chin to be shaped like that, but like down a little bit. Nope, that's huge. This is why I don't add chins. I don't know how. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this lip preset. I like how pouty they are. Because if she had her nose done, she might have had her lips done. I haven't decided yet. And so I think our base is good. Let's go ahead here. Because I'm going to need some skin details. But the first thing I really need to change is the skin tone. Because Emmy is kind of orange. She is the orange that you would be if you had a fake tan but naturally because so I don't want her to be like orange orange like not actually orange even though even though <laughs> it's kind of cute that's not that bad and it is still like orange hmm okay let's let's go with this this is an actual orange and then let's get some skin details here oh right I should probably put her ears on first she has very long elven ears so which ones are we going with maybe these ones We'll go with these ones for now. I think I have some earrings that actually go on that are longer. Just trying to decide what preset I like the best. I kind of like how the skin looks with this one. Like it darkens up certain areas. I think I like that. Also, I think I'm gonna go here on the eyes because they've almost got a little bit more green to them that I think looks really nice with the skin. So I'm gonna do this. Are those still aqua? Unless I have some other ones over here. Okay, I'm actually going to go with these eyes. They're G15s from Gopal's Me that I never use because they're on my makeup line. But since we can copy the makeup to all outfits now, easy enough. And I think these are more aqua. I don't think Emmy really has freckles. Like, I'm sure she does, but she doesn't have any, like, significant freckles. I had a little touch of blush. And definitely some dimples. We'll go with just some little guys right there. And, hmm, I don't think that beauty mark, but maybe the one that's up on the side of the cheek. Hmm, it doesn't play well with the overlay, so no, no beauty marks. Let's get her some eyelashes. I think Emmy wears lash extensions always, um, or she's just naturally born with very full lashes. Whichever one, but I think they need to be full and lush 
and definitely kind of always in the perfect place all the time. Let's go with these ones. I think they seem like they're almost too much, but they seem more youthful than these ones do. These will seem a little too intense. I think these are still kind of cute. I think we're looking for glossy and I think we're looking for pink. That's that's the vibe that she gives me for makeup. But I don't I don't know what type of makeup you wear with orange skin. I haven't fully thought about it. <laughs> Ooh, probably something like that. That like corally color is really pretty. Let's see. So there's that one. I don't think this is the lips that I prefer. But there's one that's similar. Yes, this one. We need to kind of find like a corally peachy color. Are there any in this? She just looks like Barbie now. Let's go there. It's kind of like a nude with just like a little something. Add some more blush to our cheeks. Love that. Eyeliner. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're going to go with this one. It kind of gets a little, little messed up over here with the pixels. But I think having that strong highlight in the middle is very Emmy. I don't think it would be anything too intense, actually, for the eye makeup. I think there would just be like a light shimmer. I don't know. I almost think it ages her if you add too much there. Yeah, we'll go with that and just kind of adds like some pinky purple on the ends. And then finally on to our hair, which Emmy's hair is platinum white blonde. And she has a full fringe bang. And I'm pretty sure I have hair for that, but we're going to find out. Also, if she wants curtain bang, she would be cute. Okay, so this is one of the options. We'll have to see how it plays with the beret. I'm almost thinking her jaw is kind of, yeah, I need to slim that out a little bit do the eyes need to come down the face seems a little bit off with this hair just need to slim the whole head <laughs> something like this is very cute we could go with that let's start here this is with the hair pulled back um but still with that full fringe i do think it's kind of something closer to this when it's down or even this but let's go here because i want to see how the berets play because my girl loves a beret she loves a hat she has, I think, she's worn three different hats specifically in the campaign so far at the point that I'm at with us, um, with our recordings. So keep an eye out for the hats. It does clip a little bit, but honestly, it's very cute. She looks like Barbie. She just like, she just looks like Beach Barbie. And I think that's okay because the three main inspirations for this character were Elle Woods, Alexis Rose from Schitt's Creek and Cher from Clueless. So if you take all of those three and combine them together, that's Emmy. I, and then add me. Add me, because I'm there. So, you know, there's anxiety. Oh, that hat's cute. It's not a beret. And we need a beret for this. For her main outfit, definitely a beret, definitely designer. I think we'll go with this one. There's a little bit of clippage with the hair, but we'll all just ignore it. It's fine. Let's get ourselves an outfit to match this. Those boobs are looking crazy. Luckily, I don't think I'll have a problem finding designer outfits in my CC because like between Sentate and uh, Rimmings, they make a lot of them. I do like something like this though because Emmy is also a college student and so I kind of think it has that like academic vibe, but we, we could also go with cropped blazer. Options. Actually, no, Emmy would not wear this. <laughs> I take it back. Emmy is actually very reserved. There, She is usually pretty covered up, but she's covered up in very nice clothing. We might be able to make something like this work. I think I can probably get a undershirt. Oh, yes. Okay, so like full length here with the turtleneck underneath. And let's get you some bottoms, girl. Yep, some tight little leather pants. And then we need some heeled boots. I don't think I have any purses huh. as accessories. I'm curious because she does carry a bag. I don't think I have any purses to give her as an accessory. I wish that I did. I definitely need to make sure that I do her nails because I think they are always done. Let's go with this just like baby pink. I think that's cute. Mm -hmm. And that is outfit number one. I think she looks so cute. Let's try a different hair. I want to see if I have like the full hair down, if it would look good. Because, I mean, this I think this actually fits more of how she, like, walks into the room for the first time when you meet her. Um, I think she's so cute. This is cute, too, but her hair is definitely longer than that. Okay, we could go with this one, which is way more va-va-voom of the hair. I actually picture it being straight, but, like, she could curl it. 
this could be how she showed up. This is a potential option that I'm talking about doing in the future if she decides to cut her hair, because I think the short little bob is so cute. Like, I know I made her, but I'm sitting here thinking that this face card never declines because she's so pretty. I, I, this is this is giving. It's giving Emmy. I think I'm going to go with this one. A lot of the hairs clip, but I think that this one looks very cute. It's got kind of like the longer fuller fringe, and then it's got a little bit tucked back. That way we can see the ears coming through. I'm also going to see if I have the earrings with the ears on them because I really want those to come through. They're not coming through on the one side. They're only over there. Okay, there they are. There are some ears. I swear, I think I have some that have earrings. I don't know why these ones don't, unless if I just can't see them. And there they are with the earrings. Um, is there anything else I need to add to this? I do think I need to add a necklace because I'm pretty sure we have a crescent moon necklace, or at least I have one. It's a little bit too large for this outfit, but I think that's okay because Emmy's a Twilight cleric and she worship is, worships her goddess. Uh, who I named Callista. So yeah, I'm happy with this look on Emmy. I think I'm going to call it here for her. I don't think I gave you guys too many spoilers. I thought I was going to end up giving you more, but instead I got focused on like creating a sim. So make sure you go ahead and click on the link in the description. Go ahead and check out the campaign. And if you go over there, leave a comment. Let me know that you're over there. Let me know that you're over here. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.